Hi, it's Jackie with Reborn Babies Are Forever Babies. And today in the nursery, I have Israel and Levi. And we haven't shown Israel in quite a while, and I wanted to show all of you that Israel is still here. Actually changed his clothes yesterday after work, and I wanted to show you the adorable little red and white striped Cat and Jack outfit that I purchased for him. I got this yesterday at Target and it was $17 before Christmas and you know me, way too much money. So I was in there yesterday and they had it marked down and they happened to have his size. You guys ready for this price? It was $17 and I paid $4.28 for it. So I thought that was quite a deal. And you know me, I'm always looking for deals. I absolutely love Israel. I have had him now for about, I would say maybe a year, year and a half. And I just love this baby. He is the Benno Sculpt by Linda Share. He was reborn by Emma Bennett from Emma's Nursery. I'm sure you've seen her dolls before on eBay. She's very talented and I just love this baby. I love the expression on his face. I love his beautiful green eyes and the modeling is absolutely wonderful on him. As you can see, I've got the flash on it, which I normally don't do, but it's very gloomy outside today, and it's supposed to rain all day. We're supposed to have a lot of icing going over on the walkways and on the roads, but I really love him, and he is a character. As many of you know, I have really established a personality for little Israel here, and it's very playful and happy. So Israel's playing with a little jingle block that I purchased in Virginia this past year when my husband and I were on vacation. I got this in Jamestown and it's really cute. It has all the little farm animals on it. Again, this was very expensive at the gift store that I was at. Um, I think it was like $22. It was a ridiculous amount. But it was in the bin for um, markdowns, and I paid $1.99 for it. I thought that was a pretty good deal. And so, not to be outdone by Israel, we have little Levi. And Levi, as you know, was painted by my dear friend. Cynthia Nance. He's the Saskia by Bonnie Brown. And the only reason I say that is because I know there's a lot of people that do hop on YouTube and then they'll ask, what sculpt is he? And, you know, we know who he is and we know who made him and we know who his artist is. But, you know, I have a lot of new people that come onto my channel and they don't. And that's why I reiterate um, sometimes what the sculpts are and who painted them. So he is the Saskia by Bonnie Brown and he was painted again by Cynthia Nance from Babies and Bears. And they're just about the same size, these two babies. Actually, I think, um, I think Levi may be a little bit bigger, but I think it's because he's stretched out and Israel has um, bent legs for the most part. Well, one bent leg and one partially bent leg. So. And my new baby, my little boy, the Connolly over in the other bassinet, he's about the same size as these two. I was talking to Tiny Magical Creatures this morning for a second on uh, a post that she made on one of my videos and I was telling her I think the reason why I gravitate to the little boy babies is because I had girls and so I always wonder what it would have been like to have had a boy 
and um, I think that's why I gravitate to baby boy dolls, although I do have more girls, but I have more small boys than I do the girls. I have three that are this size and the boys, and I only have one this size and the girls. Actually, she's a little bit bigger than him, I would have to say. And that would be my little baby Eloise here. She's sitting in the swing today, and I have changed her into this adorable little outfit that I picked up at Walmart. I ordered her a little Humpty Dumpty. Actually, it's for the nursery, and I got this during this past week off of eBay. Real hard to find Humpty Dumpty things here in the U.S. So, oh, she's so sweet. My sister stopped by a couple weeks ago, and she saw my doll collection for the first time, and she said, this baby looks so sad. I said, yeah, you know, she she does, but her expression is just so adorable and it's something that you see so often in real children that they'll stop and when they're thinking about something um they'll have this expression on their face and i just think it's adorable she also has green eyes and she was painted by nikki's reborns from germany She's the Wilma Sculpt by Carola Wigrick. I hope I said that right. I also just want to take a second and show you that I have changed my little Michelle into a darling little fur coat. Put her hair up in some ponytails. I did that this past week. And she has on a beautiful little pair of buckle shoes that I bought last year at the end of the winter season. I got them at clearance at Babies R Us, and I think I might have paid like $3 for them. I'm always looking for sales and bargains to dress my girls. I always did that with my own children, and I do that with my, with my dolls, and of course, Helen Fay, Why not take such a beautiful baby. Me. Can't you see? I'm no good without. And she has a lovely little leopard take outfit on today, but nice and toasty, warm on this I cold day. Helen Fay is the Gabriella by Regina Swalkowski. She was painted by Cynthia Nance. By Chun Mei by Ping Lao and she was painted actually she was completely stripped last year for me I had bought her on eBay and I felt she needed more work but loved the sculpt so I sent her out to my dear friend and she worked on her for me completely stripped her took her hair off and um, she's absolutely beautiful now. She has real Asian toddler hair. And she was a job to strip and to refinish. And I am so very grateful to my dear friend for doing this project for me. I can't thank her enough. Okay, so because it is quite gloomy outside today, I wanted to do a role-playing video, but I'm just not going to have time. Got to get to work, and I want to be safe driving out there. So I want to thank you all for watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye!